So I went back in there and just stood there for a while. Cause I'm like, well, I, yeah. I, she said, well, you can't be in here. I said, well, that's fine. I'll just go stand right here and wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says in here. Just be quiet. All right, sure. I'll just wait. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here I'm going to borrow your book when when you're All right. got because I want to make a copy of it. Right. I think I'm going to head down to Mark. Oh, now she's locking it. Did she do lock the door? She locked the door, huh? Did she lock it? I think so. Serious? Guess I'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Sherry's. Welcome to Sherry's. Welcome to Sherry's. Bienvenidos a Sherry's. If you're dining inside this Sherry's, they don't care about your personal safety. They just violated fire codes for the state of Washington by locking the front door. They don't have anyone manning it to be able to let you out. If there's a fire in there, you're going to be trapped. It's a violation of, your, of fire code. They don't care about your safety, even though they're forcing you to wear a mask. You can't give me the right to be Hey y'all and thanks for joining me for this video where I'll be covering some follow-up we as a community did regarding the Sherry's Cafe and Pies masking incident I recently covered. And if you haven't seen any of those videos where I reviewed the body cam footage from the incident or you need to catch up because you missed the all important part three, links to all of the body cam review sessions as well as the contact information for the Sherry's Cafe are in the description as always. This footage is from about a week after the original incident occurred. I had not received the body cam footage yet, so I didn't notice that Heather, the supervisor that called the police on a woman who had done nothing to anyone else, was there. She was even wearing the same ritualistic shame muzzle as the day she called cops and was on body cam footage. I wonder how many times she washed it between then and now, which according to guidelines she should have been doing every day. I'm an area leader for a group known as People's Rights. As such, I was involved in an effort by a group in our community to shed some light on how Sherry's treats its customer. There were about 10 of us that showed up, and of those, only about 4 or 5 of us even entered the restaurant. I entered on my own. By the time I got there, the others had already entered and then left the building. My point was to try to talk to them and show them some papers naming them as violators of civil rights under U.S. and Washington State civil rights law. As I state to someone else in my protest, my goal was at least to talk to them about rather than discriminating and or having civil rights actions brought up against them because of threats them and their businesses were receiving from the state who is the one actually violating the non-aggression principle, I was hoping to get them to use the same paperwork I had brought to serve on them to actually serve on the individuals making threats against them. I hope you all got what I was trying to say there. My point is, I just wanted them to understand I got the pressure they were feeling and I was there to help them stand up against the organized crime ring forcing them to treat their community members this way under the threat of extortion, violence, and even being thrown in a dungeon. Unfortunately, their concern over earning enough fiat to cover their debts closed their minds to any conversation and or compassion towards their community members. Not only did they not even want to deal with the ugliness they created in the community, they decided to further disregard public safety and lock the only and main public exit to the building during business hours in violation of fire code they had agreed to adhere to when they contracted with the organized crime ring known as Spokane County and its subsidiary, the City of Spokane. These corporations demand strict adherence to their policies in order to maintain their stranglehold on the community at large. I don't know what happened with the rest of my footage, but some of it didn't get saved. Before what you're seeing now, I went in and I was told I would need a mask. I declined and asked to speak to a supervisor because I had some paperwork to show them and speak to them about. This is me waiting for the supervisor and then what happened after. The supervisor just not going to come out, I guess, then? Is that was her walking around back there? Alright, well 
that was documented. Good stuff. Maybe should we get this one? <laughs> right. Like Did that. you get any? Yeah, she did. I think she came out, but she never came because I, I said, "Well, I have some paperwork for you," and then they, whoop, whoop. then they just completely ignored me. So I'll just come back tomorrow. But I got it's got to be in we person. Got the name, it over the phone. Um, you know, and I think it would probably do because they're again the manager, the corporate guy, or the district. I would but that's see, that's the problem is. I mean, we have to get all of them, but yes. so the reason that they won't do anything is because they say, "Oh, they think their corporation is going to be able to back them." But it's a it's a civil thing. We're not going against the corporation. It's so against the act. Yeah, it's, the, it's these people that are doing the it. Individual person. Because the corporation, really yeah, them. the corporation can't force them to break a law, right. and that's what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I was so trying to ask for that. Yeah. Because he is being told, yeah. you know, to enforce that. Yeah. yeah. So, I told her the same thing. I said, so they won't. They they, and they can't fire you if they're telling right. you to break They won't them. come out and talk to me, though. So oh, that's really? why I went back in there and just stood there for a while. Because I'm like, well, I, yeah. I, she said, well, you can't be in here. I said, well, it's fine. I'll just go stand right here and wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says in here. Just be quiet. Okay. All right, sure. I'll just wait. Oh, here <laughs> we go. Here I'm going to borrow your book when, when you're All right. got it. Because I want to make a copy of it. Right. I think I'm going to head down to Mark. Oh, now she's locking it. She could lock the door. <laughs> That's her? I guess. You're probably calling the police. Probably. I guess. <laughs> she locked the door, huh? Did she lock it? I think so. Serious? I guess I'll find out. Yeah. Lock the door, man. Shit. There you go. Pretty sure it's not, yeah. Documented. You got it documented. <laughs> yeah. All the people eating in there. Right. Right. I'm just gonna tell them that people in here. If you're dining inside this series, they don't care about your personal safety. They just violated fire code for the state of Washington by locking the front door. They don't have anyone manning it to be able to let you out. If there's a fire in there, you're going to be trapped. It's a violation of your of fire code. They don't care about your safety, even though they're forcing you to wear masks. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, that's a, that's a violation. We get the fire marshal down here right now. Maybe you guys should ask him to unlock that door. We haven't done anything. I'm just trying to ask them why they're... Denying us service. Nothing. They won't even come talk to me. Oh, uh, there's no manager, dude. No, nah, yeah, that's the, the fire supervisor right here. now, dude. That's a huge fire. I don't have fire. I don't have service, man. Uh -huh. I can't. I don't have service. Damn. <laughs> All right. Sounds like two seconds. to care about your safety by forcing you to wear a mask for the 30 feet from the front door to your table, yet they just violated the fire code by locking you inside. I hope there isn't a fire that starts in there, that would be terrible. Then they would not only be liable for civil rights violations, but also fire code violations. Right? <laughs> I told these people were going in, I was like, yeah, I wouldn't shop here if I were you. I told them, and they're like, oh, really? Like One guy, he's like, well, I already ordered. I ordered it, like, to pick up. <laughs> I was like, well, I, mean, I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just telling you. That's how they treat fellow members of their community. Dude. I'm not insane, right? Yeah. I just, I like.
like I feel bad, but like these people are gonna have to take it. I'm like, I want to like show them the paperwork and be like, look, look. Now I'm trying to give you, I'm trying to be decent here and give you an opportunity to correct it. And I know that you're gonna get hassled by your boss and the, and the county. So I tell you what, I'll help you too. Just like I helped the person that you discriminated against, I'll help you too. Right. <laughs> right. And then we right. don't have to do this. We might have to help you retire right, right, right? now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Right? I don't get it, man. Well, Brian, I just, I wanted to tell her, I'm just, I just wanted to show her this and just say like, look, so someone else came in here and I heard about it, so I'm helping that person. And I know if you start not letting people, wear, or letting people go in without masks, then you're going to get heck from the health department and your bosses. And I said, so I have the same type of paper. It can help you just like I help the other person. So let's work together. I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so just more for the record here. Official hours of operation, Monday through Thursday, 7 to 10. So it is a Wednesday, so they should be open. Uh, but it is, please know we take our responsibility in keeping our guests and team members safe and provide all with worry free dining working experience. Be assured we are following the guidance issued by state and local agencies. When not see your table, a mask covering is required. Apparently they didn't call the police, they just drove by and didn't turn. Uh, <laughs> so apparently they didn't call the police, they just drove by and didn't turn. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, David Cole just drove by too. Oh, uh, trying to read the sign. <laughs> Alright, well she's off the phone. I don't know if that's who I need to hang out anymore. They ain't gonna talk to me or anything, so yeah. um go down to the meeting or whatever. <laughs> Bullshit. Alright. Are you gonna come to the meeting? I, I'm already out. Alright. So. <laughs> did they uh, did they say anything? I called Brian Chat, and she, uh, you know, she said, "Oh well, there's you know, there's a riot, there's rioting going on." I thought, "My goodness, there's some rioting going on." And she said, "Well, we've had calls about you know, large that group of people carrying signs." And I said, "Well, uh, there was one person carrying a sign about 40 feet down the sidewalk." <laughs> Well, so they're not letting, they won't, so they won't let you in? And I said, no. Well, they're not letting anybody in? And I said, I haven't seen them let anybody in. So, so, we'll, get, so we'll do a public records request for all those calls, too, <laughs> so we find out. And we'll, we'll get them. Okay. All right, well. Check, right. Well. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to head down to Mark's. Yeah, we'll head down to the meeting. <laughs> they won't talk to us and deal with reasons. So I guess we're going to have to do the hard things now. What's that? I have all the managers. Okay, nice. Alright. Okay. Call warning, the managers? Huh? Is that Paul Horning? Uh, Randy? Oh, yeah, general manager Paul Horning. There you go. Get a picture of that. I missed that. Yeah. Right. Alright, well, thanks for coming, y'all. If you want to support this channel, I encourage you to do so outside of the centralized economy and utilize other modes of support. Basically, at this point, anything is better than any central bank backed fiat currency. We have already been warned and told that system is failing and being replaced. So why continue to use it? Links for support are listed in the description of everything I put out. And until next time, keep living free, my friends.